Hey everybody, it's Sean here with Sweatpants BI, and today I want to talk about a, a subject that is very near and dear to my heart and very important for you in designing very attractive business intelligence tools and designing the most impactful data visuals, and that is color management. I see a ton of business intelligence uh, tools and data visuals on a regular basis from my students and from people on LinkedIn. And one of the most common uh, mistakes that I see people making, especially those that are in the early days of their business intelligence and data visualization career, is inappropriate use of color. Color is one of the most important tools that we have in our arsenal to helping our users understand the most important insights from a data visual and helping us communicate to them the things that matter most in our data and in our BI tools. So in this video, I just wanted to run through some topics that are very, very important to keep in mind when utilizing color in business intelligence, whether it be Power BI, Tableau, or something else entirely. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the first topic. The first thing that's important to keep in mind with regard to color management is that everything ultimately starts with choosing a smart color palette for your reports and for your data visuals. The first item that I would say is worth emphasizing here is that if you have never heard of a color wheel or if you've never uh, you know, seen one or if you don't know how to apply it, start by understanding how a color wheel can help you make better decisions about the variety of colors that you pick for your Power BI reports and how you utilize them in your data visuals. Here, I would recommend going online and researching uh, different websites that walk you through proper color theory, how to interpret a color wheel, and how to understand uh, the different types of color families that a color wheel can help you decode. It's important to keep in mind how uh, you know warm colors and cool colors sort of juxtapose next to each other. It's important to understand how complementary colors can help you take one color and find another color on the other side of the wheel that will pair well with that color. That's why you will see in a lot of reports that I build, uh, I might use a blue color as sort of my broad or very general data visualization scheme, but then I'll use orange, which is on the other side of the wheel, as my color accent or highlight for my most important insights. Another thing that you might wanna research is how to scale your colors uh, between darker and lighter tones in order to sort of maximize the impact of contrast and balance in your Power BI reports. And of course, you know, like I said, find something that helps you understand the important role that utilizing warmer colors and cooler colors can have in sort of helping our user uh, see what they're supposed to see in a Power BI report and sort of grabbing their attention and focusing it on the most important aspects of our report and our data visuals. All of this is really just a polite way of saying that you need to understand that color is a tool just as much as picking an appropriate data visual. As I kind of alluded to a moment ago, color helps us take the user's eye and sort of pull it to the most important things that they should see on a page. Imagine that you're jumping into a Power BI report for the first time and there are all kinds of data visuals and they're, they're just kind of thrown onto the page. Bar charts, line charts, pie charts. Maybe you don't understand the data very well. Maybe you don't understand the purpose of uh, the, the report in the first place, maybe this is your first time seeing the data visuals, how are you going to immediately know exactly where you should look? And the answer is color can almost be like a compass, sort of directing your user where they should look first on any given data visual. That's going to help them process those data visuals more easily and walk away with the insights or takeaways that you had probably intended. So color also, just as it has this great capacity to help us uh, highlight or emphasize information, it also has a really good uh, sort of potential to help us suppress less important information, uh, making more important information stand out more clearly. So something that you'll see me doing in some of my Power BI reports is using something like white or gray, or just picking kind of a, a, you know, a neutral tone uh, in my report to sort of, you know, stage everything that is not terribly important or that really is just there for kind of a complimentary purpose. And I, that helps me kind of push that information to the background so that when I use color in my reports, it actually means something. Ultimately, when I use color, it should be 
a, a flag almost that I'm that I'm uh, trying to give my user a visual cue that they need to really look at and study one particular aspect of the report. If I use color everywhere, it ultimately becomes meaningless, and the impact of that color, you know, is basic is almost completely lost because there's color everywhere. So make sure that you're always using color with purpose to sort of pull the user to the most important aspects of your report. All of this is really just to say that less is more when it comes to color. Great BI reports, in my opinion, use two or three colors 99% of the time and only break that rule in the, in the rarest of data visualization situations. So, you know, to take sort of a, uh, a page from my book, I would recommend that you choose one color as your primary emphasis color across your data visuals and then choose one other color for maybe like supporting uh, data and supporting insights, basically less important stuff that you want to uh, the user to be able to see, but you kind of want to suppress that information to the background where they can reference it, but you want their attention sort of laser focused at all times on the most important aspects of different data visuals. In my opinion, something like gray or a neutral color in the context of your design, for example, if you're building a report um, with kind of a blue, a dark blue theme, then blue is gonna be your neutral color. Orange is probably gonna be your highlight color because it's a complementary color. But use those supporting uh, elements for everything else in your layout and everything else that is less important in your data visuals. You want to use two or three colors just to sort of balance everything across your report so that your presentation looks very clean, it's not too noisy, and ultimately your accent colors direct your user how to read and how to navigate the different uh, elements uh, and insights that you're trying to share in your report. A good way to ensure that you are applying color intelligently and deliberately across your BI tools is uh, to understand that color doesn't tell your story, but it does help your audience see it. So you might want to consider doing something like just building all of your Power BI tools using just gray colors uh, in the beginning, sort of grayscale everything, and then ask yourself, what are the most important elements of each chart? Uh, is the title or is there an axis uh, on this particular chart that is uh, especially important? Maybe it could use a pop of color. Are you trying to draw a visual um, sort of relationship between elements in two different charts? Maybe you want to make sure that you're using the same color to represent a concept in both charts. So don't hide or obscure your insights behind visual noise and clutter. Ultimately, you know, you want to make sure that before you publish any of your Power BI reports that you have carefully edited and selected which colors are going to maximize the impact of each data visual and each insight. It, ultimately, it's just going to make your reports look that much cleaner and tighter. And it's also going to make sure that it, the most important insights in your report sort of beat your users or smack them across the head. You don't want to bury the lead, as they say in journalism. You don't want to make sure you don't you want to make sure that there's not so much color that your users ultimately don't know what they're supposed to look at. Another important concept when it comes to balancing color in your report and ensuring that people see what matters most is to uh, make sure that your report and your data visuals maximize the use of contrast. Contrast is sort of balancing light and dark colors in your report. So if you're using something like a dark theme in your Power BI report, you're going to want to use more vibrant colors to sort of make the most important insights in your data visuals really pop off the page. Whereas if you're building more of a light theme, you're going to want to use a lot of light and uh, you know sort of gray tones across your report so that uh, when you do uh, add color to your report, especially if that color is really saturated and very vibrant, it just immediately grabs the user's attention. You know, obviously when you're building a darker theme for your Power BI reports, it's kind of easier to maximize the impact of contrast than when you're building a light report. But I still see plenty of instances where, uh, you know, people are building light theme reports and they're making brilliant use of contrast just by balancing super light tones with very vibrant colors to sort of grab the user's attention and pull them into the insights that matter most. So I like to say that color is fine, but contrast is sublime when it comes to making sure that your users are focusing on the right things in your report. Uh, one example of a report that I built that I've demonstrated on this channel was my Space Challenge report. 
Overall, my the theme, the color theme for that report was a, sort of a sunset theme, where you start with kind of warm uh, night sky tones at the bottom of the report, and then as the user's eyes are carried upwards, you get into sort of the blacks and and uh, sort of dark violet, almost uh, you know uh, blackish blue colors of the night sky. And you know, against that sort of dark background, I'm able to maximize contrast by using, you know, bright tones of uh, oranges and violets and purples and, and lavenders and things that you might see in night sky colors without overcomplicating that report. Across my Space Challenge report, I'm still basically only using two colors, and that is shades of purple and shades of orange, but I'm able to sort of juxtapose those colors from top to bottom what, without losing any of that contrast so that all of my data visuals and everything still pop, but the report as a whole doesn't seem super bogged down by excessive use of color. Because even though there are plenty of lighter and darker shades of colors across the report, I'm still basically only using two colors across the entire report and then I'm just brightening them and darkening them based on what the user is looking at at the specific uh, layer of the report or the infographic that I built. Another really important thing to keep in mind when you're using color uh, is, is that if you use a color once to represent a subject or an idea, you want to make sure that you're using that color consistent, consistently because you will be amazed at how quickly your audience will sort of lock into a color. As human beings, we're sort of hyper attuned to color in a lot of instances, uh, especially if we're jumping into something strange or a report that we've never seen before. Once our brains sort of comprehend that a color is used to represent one topic, we will, we will sort of carry that association with us to other visuals. So if we see a specific color used to represent a, you know, idea or a metric or a category, we're going to assume, uh, even sometimes subconsciously or unconsciously, that that color still represents that specific measure or idea the next time that we encounter it. So if you use one color to represent an item, uh, you know, in one chart, and then that item is represented in a completely different color in another chart, it's just going to make it much more difficult for the users to sort of make that visual relationship and sort of compare and ultimately walk away with the insight that you had possibly intended or maybe the connection that they were supposed to make between those two data visuals because you added another wrinkle uh, into the interpretation of those two visuals that they have to mentally process. At the end of the day, you know, one of the, the primary goals that we need to keep in mind with data visualization and, and when building our Power BI reports is we don't want our users to spend that precious mental energy uh, you know, sort of uh, jumping over hurdles or navigating visual obstacles that we've thrown at them. If we want our users to focus on a common thread between data visuals, one way that we can sort of emphasize that common thread is by being consistent in the color choices that we have made throughout the report. Another thing that is also important to keep in mind as I sort of focus on color management is that it's also important to remember that you don't always need to even rely on color to identify important data visual elements uh, that your users might need to distinguish. You know, uh, one thing that I comment about a lot in my courses and in my videos is that it's a mistake to assume that every single person that, in, that looks through one of your Power BI reports or that reads your data visuals is going to interpret the colors that you have selected the same way that you do or the same way that the vast majority of your users might. Uh, human beings do perceive color differently. Color carries with it a, a huge range of meanings. Color transcends cultures, carries different meanings in different cultures, um, and it also so uh, just, you know, due to uh, physical and other uh, mental anomalies uh, can also be interpreted differently by people who maybe uh, have different kinds of uh, color blindness or who just for lack of a better word, uh, just, in, just see things differently. So we don't always need to use color as the only means that a user has to sort of distinguish between different chart elements. Think about line charts, especially in Power BI, if we're, if we're creating a line chart and we add a legend to that. The first thing that gets processed by Power BI is to add different colors to every line in that chart. For most people, that might be a perfectly valid way of reading that line chart, but we have other things that we can do to also make that chart easier to interpret. For example, we can change up the thickness uh, and the style of the individual lines. We can add different kinds of markers uh, to the individual lines for all the different data points that are represented in that trend, such as squares or circles or diamonds or triangles. 
Just to give people that you know may have trouble distinguishing between the different colored lines, another indicator that they can use to know exactly what they're looking at. So even though we're focusing here on color management, I don't want your takeaway to be that color is always the best way to make sure that your users are seeing the specific insights and making the comparisons that you're intending for them to make when you're building your report. And finally, one piece, another piece of guidance that I would say uh, is important to keep in mind and that I go back to every single time when I'm designing my layouts and my templates and my data visuals and trying to make sure that I am providing the right visual balance between my more aesthetic or artistic elements of my report and the actual data visuals is to not introduce uh, additional colors in your design or in your layout just for artistic purposes. I would say that when developing your layout or templates, it's important to just source your colors from your data palette rather than using a different color palette uh, just for the purpose of you know, creating an artistic uh, or thematic report. Uh, oftentimes I see newer Power BI developers in their layout adding images or icons, or I would say just eye candy that does nothing but distract from the data visuals. You're really just adding empty noise to your report that is just one more thing that your user's eyes have to sort of navigate around. And it's also bad uh, you know, principle or sort of bad practice from a data visualization standpoint, because when you're communicating information and when you're com communicating data, those more thematic elements that I pepper into some of my reports, it can be a huge distraction. I will say that sometimes, especially when you're just building a report or an infographic for fun, sometimes I tell people to go crazy, experiment, you know, see what they can get away with. Uh, but when you're building enterprise tools, a lot of that uh, sort of, I'll call it eye candy or a background fodder can just be distracting and, and, uh, and can sometimes even come off as unprofessional as opposed to just visualizing and the, the information first and sort of pouring all of your uh, aesthetic choices into making the insights and the data easier to interpret and easier to communicate. So when you're in a pinch and you're uh, trying to figure out how to balance colors across your report, I say once you've established uh, the sort of balanced color palette that you're gonna use across your data visuals, just use those colors for your layout so that you're not introducing additional clutter or additional noise in your report for basically no reason. If your background colors are using the same and, and your layout are using sort of the same neutral colors that are used elsewhere uh, throughout your report, it's not going to have a huge impact, I think, uh, on uh, distracting your users when you need to apply your accent colors to the most important insights in your data visuals. So there you go. There are some important things to keep in mind with regard to color management in designing business intelligence tools. Hopefully you'll find those useful. Hopefully you won't find them too controversial. And uh, the best thing that I can hope for is that you're already working on applying those in your future BI tools and in your data visualization exercises. Well, one thing that I always want to emphasize here is don't let my spiel on color management keep you from branching out and trying to be creative and trying to figure out if you can break the mold. Like I said, there are always unique instances. I find them to be pretty rare where you might need to introduce some additional colors. The main thing that you want to keep in mind is that you are practicing good fundamental color theory. Understanding the principles of color theory is going to help you uh, ensure that even when you are trying to branch out and experiment and using more colors, that those colors don't appear quote unquote ugly or garish to someone else that is looking at them. Co understanding the fundamentals and principles of color theory does help give us a firm understanding of which colors sort of pair well with each other and why, and it also helps us sort of pick an attractive color palette. That's just one less thing that we need to worry about when we're designing our Power BI reports. And it gives it takes one thing off of our plate and that we don't need to necessarily worry about whether or not the colors that we have chosen are going to work well and they're gonna have enough contrast so that when we're applying color to the most important aspects of our data visual, that those things are really standing out. I'm probably gonna be talking a lot more about color management and some other design techniques on this channel in 2024 if you enjoyed this video, or if you have other things that you think are helpful about color that I neglected to mention because uh, you know it's Saturday morning and I put this video together pretty quickly, I would love for you to sound off in the comments. Let me know your own experiences with using color uh, in Power BI. What are some instances when you've used color that your users you know, said, I really don't like these colors, or 
Uh, these colors were incredible and really helped me see the things that I wanted to see in the data. Would love to know from your experience. Anyway, uh, I've been Sean. This is Sweatpants BI. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll like or subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time with more content around Power BI and effective report design. Thank you so much.